COVID test, but I it started on Facebook. So as an abundance of caution, they're suggesting that um, I continue to be monitored and I isolate at this time. And led to FaceTime with KUAM on the link. I wasn't even at the baby for four hours when doctors admitted me into GMH. Congressman Michael San Nicholas says he volunteered to be isolated at the government isolation facility on Thursday after his doctor diagnosed him with viral pneumonia. Although the congressman tested negative for COVID, his doctor diagnosed him as a clinical COVID-19 patient. I'm very clearly unwell. They're trying to figure out the COVID diagnosis situation, but uh, you know, my doctor, Dr. Nguyen, who is Lou's COVID chief, was the one who told me I needed to be in isolation and monitored. And the only place where you get isolation and monitoring that doesn't take up a bed in the hospital was the isolation facility. And so I, I made the choice to try and be in the isolation facility so I'm not inundating this hospital. But Governor's Chief Policy Advisor Carlo Branch says it appears that protocols may have been violated to allow St. Nicholas into the government ISOFAC. Branch says the congressman called his sister-in-law, who was a nurse assigned to the government facility. She endorsed his admission without proper procedures being followed or documents from his doctor being submitted. Even in the case where a physician might believe you to be a clinical positive, that is not the sole discretion of the physician, whomever that might be. That is a public health determination because that is a public health facility. And so that determination should have been made by those in the public health regime so that A, the, the sanctity of the isolation unit could have been protected. And so that B, Congressman St. Nicholas does not place himself in any undue harm. And so that C, his sister-in-law uh, would not have been subject to questions later about the legitimacy of her action. Congressman St. Nicholas admits he did call his sister-in-law, but all protocols were followed. He was transported to the facility by the Guam National Guard, and when he arrived to the ISOFAC, he filled out all the necessary paperwork. And so what, because there's an election, I can't listen to my doctor, I can't call for help, I can't be seen by medical professionals? Is it wrong now that I'm in GMH? Can Carla Branch call in and say it's wrong that I'm in GMH? Because I didn't get here under the, under the proper protocol? What's wrong with these people? Can somebody on Guam answer what's wrong with these people? I don't think that this is anything different or political. Um, and with all due respect to my friend Congressman St. Nicholas, I hope he gets better, but this has nothing to do with politics. Yeah. Yeah. The, only reason we're, the only reason we're even aware of the situation was because he decided to put it on Facebook. The congressman, meanwhile, is not only sick at GMH, clinically diagnosed as a COVID-19 patient, but sick of the politics. So, you know, I, I don't I don't understand when's enough enough with, with, with these people. When's enough enough with these people?